Cedar Point has some of the best collection of roller coasters any amusement park can offer. Currently, they have 17 different roller coasters in operation in the park. Cedar Point has an incredible piece of property that's nestled right on Lake Erie shoreline. However, this comes with its own disadvantage, as the park is located on a peninsula, meaning three sides of the property is bordered by water, thus inhibiting any more expansion. The park takes up around 364 acres of land, which is a pretty decent plot to work with, but there will come a time when innovation will take over the less popular, older attractions. Cedar Point, though it does have a good collection of roller coasters, definitely has some rides that need to find their way to the exit door. In this video, I will be discussing what roller coasters in the park that could possibly be on the cutting block in the near future. The first coaster on this list is Wicked Twister. Why do I think this ride is going to get the axe? First, it's not a high capacity attraction, which is something that Cedar Point needs. With this style of coaster, I tend to look at them more like a flat ride than a roller coaster. And in that case, this is a decent throw ride to their arsenal, but still a low capacity attraction regardless. Second, it inhibits the view of the lake, something that Cedar Point has been saying recently that they want to open up their waterfront area. Finally, the ride uses LIM technology, which uses up a ton of electricity. Removing this ride would free up more energy for another newer launch coaster in the park. Our next coaster on this list is Corkscrew. I don't have too many reasons as to why this coaster could be removed, other than it's just not a popular ride, and it's also kind of rough experience as well. This is a classic arrow looping coaster, so there are some nostalgia to this attraction. It also doesn't take up much space either. The only other type of coaster that I could think replacing it would be some kind of Gerstlauer Euro Fighter, but I just don't see that type of coaster coming to the park. Next, we have Iron Dragon. The only reason I am putting this coaster on the list is because of its age and design. This is one of the last remaining suspended coasters on the planet. I'm sure parts for this ride must be challenging to come by, which is why I could see the park just opting to remove it. This is also one of their few family coasters, something that Cedar Point is in short supply. Also, similar to Corkscrew, this ride doesn't take up much space, but there is still enough land in this area to replace it with another, smaller family coaster. Moving right on over to yet another family coaster, we have Cedar Creek Mine Ride. This coaster is a classic arrow mine coaster, which once again has some nostalgia to it. Also, as just mentioned, this is one of their other family coasters in the park. So if Cedar Point were to remove it, I'd see them only replacing it with another family coaster. I think one of those Gerstlauer modern mine coasters like Fire Chaser Express would fit in perfectly here. But yeah, this ride is a little rough, but nothing overly painful. It's just kind of boring to be honest. It's a family ride, but maybe the park could do a little bit more with a theming or something. The other mine train coaster, Gemini, is the next on this list. Gemini is another classic aero mine train coaster, except this one is built as a racing model. The ride has a few fun moments of airtime, but similar to Cedar Creek Mine Ride, it also has a few rough bumps throughout. Basically, the bottom of every hill can be a little uncomfortable. Gemini is also one of their highest capacity attractions in the park, which makes it a great coaster when the crowds are at full capacity. Gemini takes up a good chunk of land, and being so close to the water park, I could see this land either being replaced with another racing dueling type coaster or an expansion to their water park. Cedar Point is trying to grow their resort experience, so unfortunately everything that gets removed in the park isn't going to be replaced with a coaster. They really need to start appealing to a wider range of audience if they want to pack in the guests. The biggest coaster on this list, Magnum XL 200. Magnum is the first full circuit hyper coaster. This ride has been considered the attraction that reinvigorated the roller coaster industry. Hyper coasters now are kind of a dime a dozen attraction. Even many smaller parks have a hyper coaster in their coaster lineups. Cedar Point currently has six roller coasters that stand over 200 feet tall, which is an incredible feat. 
No other park comes close to that number, so removing one of these, even two of these, won't risk their record-breaking claim. If this coaster does get removed, it's going to be replaced by another attraction that's bigger and taller, so it wouldn't really be a loss. Magnum is a fun ride, but similar to the other older attractions in the park, it has some rough spots. My alternate to ripping this ride down is maybe do some serious retracking, smooth out the rough spot, maybe even rework that turnaround to rid of those weird bank turns. I still think there is some life left in this ride, but I would have to agree that its days are definitely numbered. Well, there's my list of possible candidates to be removed from the park. Cedar Point is a great amusement park that I think wants to take itself to another level. It's already a revered park that many enthusiasts rank as the best amusement park in the world. So to move forward, you sometimes have to leave parts of the past behind. The future looks real bright at Cedar Point, and I can't wait to see what they have for us in store. Thank you for watching. Please click the subscribe button, check out more of my content, then go follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.